so hi guys so uh, our project for non model one uh, for the domain artificial intelligence is cl garbage classification using uh, deep learning so uh, i'll be explaining you how the whole code works how we have trained the data sets and what is our uh, what is our result so basically as you can see uh, so we have used vgg16 model to train the data set we have uh, 2187 images of various uh, uh, garbage uh, items and we have divided it into seven classes which we'll be seeing in in some time and uh, we have used it for five epochs uh, it can be done for up to 50 epochs, but since it requires a lot of computational power, we have used it for five epochs. And the accuracy, the over, overall accuracy has been 69.77% for the whole model. So as you can see, uh, we have first of all like uh, imported all the libraries, NumPy, Panda, SpyPlot, OS, CV2, sklearn, Globe, Keras, and all the libraries. Then we have called to the data set that we have trained earlier. So as you can see, we have been we have called the data sets, the training data sets. And there are uh, seven test classes, which are for cardboard, compost, glass, metal, paper, plastic, and trash. So first of all, the training data sets are loaded. So as you can see, this is a particular example of one image from the data set. Uh, this is plastic, for example. So as we go down, uh, since it has been loaded, now uh, what is happening is, again, uh, the process is repeated for all the classes. And then data documentation is done for the uh, data set. So again, this is the augmentation configuration. So what does augmentation do is it enhances the quality of the image, increases the number of pixels and all those things to ensure that we can get the best result for, for our uh, input and uh, getting for getting an output. So this shows the aug augmented images. So we can see, see uh, all the images of the data set the quality, the number of pixels has been increased so as so that the uh, the deep learning model is able to understand all the all the images well. Now this graph, as you see, this bar graph uh, gives you the number of images which are present for each class in a data set. For compost, there are some uh, images above 100. Same for trash. For cardboard, it's uh, almost reaching 300, I guess, or a, a bit uh, more than 300. Same for metal and plastic. For uh, glass, it is reaching 400, and for paper, almost uh, it is reaching 500. So this is something which is uh, repeated for all the classes. Uh, the last example we saw. I think was for plastic. This one is for glass. So after this, we will be using transfer learning uh, using the VGG16 architecture. This is where the real model stuff happens, how we use the model, the pre-processing stuff. So as you can see, first of all, the uh, pre-processing layer is added to the VGG. After this, like, uh, it has been added. It, a condition has been added that we have we should not train the existing weights. Only the new weights, only the uh, weights that haven't been trained till now, must be trained. So this is what is happening, and after that, uh, a model object has been created based on uh, training the model. So as you can see the model has been displayed here after which we have uh, installed visual keras you will be seeing what we are doing uh, using it for now uh, the next 
thing is that uh, we want the model to tell uh, cost and optimization. So, so as you can see, we are using check pointers here. It is used to uh, save the progress after each epoch. And also it, uh, since we are using for only five epochs, it will, uh, this, this, uh, this uh, condition is going to stop a uh, help in, help us in stopping the uh, overtraining of uh, the data set and uh, it decreases validation loss. As you can see, uh, it shows the training for each epoch, epoch one, epoch two, epoch three, epoch four, epoch five. So with this, we are getting a test tag, uh, sorry, train accuracy of 0 0.4130 and a validation accuracy of 0 0.4202. So this graph shows you how much loss we have, how much loss we have incurred for training and for validation. It has gone down with each epoch. You can see that like there's a lot of progress and then after that uh, we are seeing the train accuracy and the validation accuracy which is obviously increasing for uh, each epoch and in the end it's almost reaching uh, a pretty high number which we've already seen it's uh, 0 0.4130 for train accuracy and for validation accuracy is 0 0.4202 so after that, uh, based on the class uh, model training and each epoch's validation accuracies, we are going to compute the evaluation matrix, which has been shown here. Obviously, it's done for uh, the array score, and you can see the values that have been given here. So this is how we have uh, we have applied. Uh, the data sets how we have this is how we have trained the data, data sets to have a very high accuracy we have done it for five uh, epochs it can be done for 50 epochs too so we have done it to the best extent we have trained models so as to get to a almost 70 percentage accuracy that's it from my side thank you